We're at the Strzelecki Creek rest area. Oh, mate's got a little bit bogged up in the track here. Just uh, pulled out from the track we've been following from Cameron's Corner to our left or south, Lindhurst, which is where we'll end up in two days' time to the right in a Minka 155. That's where we're heading tonight, the beginning of the Strzelecki track. So I've been doubling back a little bit. In the Minka Reserve, it's actually a reserve, so you need a permit to come into here. A lot of gas fields around, by the way. Something else that surprised me, besides the gas fields, is um, the road. Uh, and the Minka's up that way, probably about 40 k's. Uh, back to the road where we turned off after coming out from Cameron's Corner, where it was bitumen. It's been uh, pretty good. It's been a bit of dirt, but it's been very well graded. I suppose that's because of the gas works and stuff out here, and there's oil as well. On the banks of Cooper Creek. I'm not sure it's the same Cooper Creek that we um, went through earlier this year. A bit of shade, so um, again pushing over 40. Just outside Inaminka Township, if you call it a township, about 1.2 k's at um, a place called the Town Commons. Courtesy uh, fee here, 10 bucks. Nothing's open today at all. Just thrown two pots out. Thrown one pot out with some ham. Bunch of turtles around, I'm really, really interested in that. Another one with um, some dragon fruit in it. It's a sign up on the dunnies, it talks about um, the obies here, nothing about red claw. Turtles got into it, didn't catch a turtle. Did get some uh, little prawn though. And on the dragon fruit one, is that a little yellow belly? He's going back in anyhow. In a minka are about a half a kilometre behind us. Strzelecki track. I'll let you know how much um, bitumen there is on this track, eh? Because I was quite surprised just say when it came up a bit. Just come off the first stretch of bitumen, about 34 k's. Just onto this side uh, dirt. Uh, just heading towards um, Moomba, which is that way by the way. Give you a look at that, it's a um, huge gas, I suppose, processing facility. No public services in there, but it's quite huge. That's sort of thing you expect to see out in the middle of nowhere, but we are in the middle of, um, I don't know if it's a serrat basin or not, but there's certainly lots of gas. The boss reckons Sandos has been out here a long time. She wanted me to pull over here to have a look at all these lilies, which must be seasonal. We're here um, after the new year, January, so if you've been watching the weather, there's been a lot of rain inland, central Australia, western Queensland, all moving down through New South Wales, Victoria, and South Australia. So there's a lot of water around, and uh, the Strizzleki track's been open, closed, open, closed, open, closed. I think the Strzelecki tracks um, signposted at about 470 odd kilometres. Uh, why is that relevant? Because uh, from earlier comments I made, I'm going to tell you how much bitumen there is. I certainly didn't expect the um, amount of bitumen that I've seen so far. Been a little bit of a storm last night or yesterday afternoon. We were all camped up at Cooper Creek. A couple of storms blew through, cooled the place down. Um, the fridge monitor, the temperature gauge up in the front door, indicated the ambient temperature dropped by about eight degrees, which is quite good, made it quite pleasant. And it's been quite pleasant this morning, I think. It's only about 30, 31, something like that. Still plenty of flies around. But it makes it um, a bit easier for driving, a bit easier on the cruiser as well. Just thought I'd show you where we are. Um, we're right there at the moment, heading towards Moomba. And then we're going to head start heading south then on the Strz well, all Strzelecki track. And we've come from up here in Aminka. You can see that track line, that was bitumen. 
had a little bit of a problem with the uh, small angle which I run as a freezer yesterday um, and when we pulled up I noticed it was minus 6 I've got to sit at about minus 16 so that's an indication of how much load it's under and the boss went out there and picked up picked some stuff out of the freezer for dinner and I asked her what the temperature was she said she didn't have a look so I went and had a look and it wasn't working the thermal fuse had blown so that was my only spare I have to buy a couple more and stick in there Handy to um, keep an eye on your, your fridges pretty regularly out this way, particularly when it's hot, eh? There it is, Moomba. Gas processing facility. I mean, probably owned by uh, Santos. Back onto the bitumen again, just a little bit south of uh, Moomba. <laughs> uh, Moomba. Uh, Moomba. Probably um, from the last bit of video, <laughs> probably about a kilometre. Just coming up to the road that we came out from yesterday. Um, Cameron's Corner off to the left. See the signpost over there says 118 Cameron's Corner. It looks like we're going to head back into dirt. We've done about another 60 odd k's on Bitumen from uh, Munta. On the road along this way is uh, probably a little bit less maintained. Well, it is less maintained. There's a lot of um, rut holes and stuff. So a bit of road work's happening. Um, at the moment, it just reminds me of the Udnadatta track. We're at the Strizlicky Creek rest area. Strizlicky Creek was just a little bit further back that way. Now, time for a driver change. To, um, I think it's Montesolito Bore. It's also a camp area on uh, the Stresleki track. We'll get out there and have a look. It's a bit of a warren in here. Want to stay out of the water. Might be a bit soft. The boss was saying this meant to be like artesian spring or something here. Oh, I'd say um, corillas. I think there are. There's three or four of them. Um, not much to this hut. We'll go back towards the car because there was another hut that we passed by that had a bit of sign work. Not much left of that sign. The other ones talk about land types and soils, geology and remote area trouble. Boss has gone for a walk up that way, so just hoping there might have been a location map here just to show us where that artesian boar is. I haven't given up yet trying to find it. Just sort of check the fridge temperature. Pretty on the wrong, right side of the vehicle, I suppose. Feels like it's about 40, 42 out here at the moment, something like that. That's what it's like inside the canopy. 45, fridge is 1.2. I can hear what some of you are saying about putting fridges inside the canopies or closed areas. But see, these have got vents forward facing, so it picks up areas you're driving. The one on the other side's rearwards facing. Oh, oh mate's got a little bit bogged up on the track here. Uh, good on him though, he's pulled over as soon as he realised he fell in. You can see he got bogged up here a bit as well. He yeah, said so there's a bit a couple of looks drier up there. Up there right now. Uh, so there's a couple of softer spots up here as well, but once we get past that it's fine. Just started heading west, sort of west in here. Still on the stress of here, of course. Just to our south of it. You can see I'll open up the window and you get some noise here. The range is out, the range is out there in the distance of the Gammon Ranges, so we're just crossing the top of them to the north of the Gammon Range National Park. Probably uh, more famously known for Akarula Station. Coming up to 
Lindhurst. Now this is the end of the Stress Lackey track, just in about a K. Pub here is a hotel, motel, caravan park, cabins. If you're looking somewhere to um, quench your thirst, rest your weary tyres. We head south from here, so that's um, just about the end of this video. Just have a bit of a chat shortly once we settle down. Before I get on to wrapping up this Lecky track in five minute video, yeah, it's a generator in the back. We're in the camping in the middle of a creek just um, south of Lee Creek. Uh, we did drop into Lee Creek at the pub. Uh, they have free camping access to toilets and showers, but the pub's not open until the 4th, so they miss out on um, a meal from us and some beers from me. Fortunate. And um, here we are. Stresley track in five minutes. Uh, injuries to the car. Hit a bird this morning. It's one of those little eagle things. Push the light force light back. Push that back up, that's alright. Just before we came on to a bit more bitumen, Left rear wheel, flat tyre, haven't checked it yet for punctures, a couple of days we're um, holed up for four days near, well near a major town anyhow, so I'll have a look then and see if I can plug it up, if not I'll drop it into town, see if they can fix it up or buy a new one, whatever I need to do. Now back to Strezlecki track in five minutes and there's lots of other stuff besides the Strezlecki track, I did compare it a little bit to Edna Data track in some places. Uh, and in that respect, uh, it was when we travelled earlier this year that Udna Data Track was in pretty good nick. There were some uh, ruts and places, and same with um, Stress Lecky Track. Um, as a bucket list name road, we've crossed that off. Is it a destination to do? Probably not, I don't think. Um, it's, not a it's not a challenging road, two wheel drive, there's no four wheel drive at all. Um, you've seen a lot of video on it, uh, so make up your own minds of that couple of little spots there to drop into. There was one, um, a bore that we, we dropped in. You've seen some vision of that. Uh, we didn't find the bore. Uh, we weren't going to walk around in 43 degree heat too much longer. And it was a bit wet and muddy. So we moved on. We've actually come on further than we expected. Streslicky track. Um, left in a minka this morning. About 8.40 I suppose and got in here about 3 o'clock. We're just plodding along. You know, 70 odd kilometers an hour. When the temperature gets up above 40 degrees, I'm saying 44, 46 degrees, I notice that the engine coolant temperature starts to sneak up above 90 degrees. It doesn't show it on the Toyota gauge, but it shows it on my scan gauge thing. And I like to keep the um, coolant temperature below 90 if I can. I had it up to 98 to today. I had it 98 once coming across from the coast as well to Cameron's Corner. Sit on 90 okay, yeah, but I like to keep it below 90 if I can, so the reason for um, driving a little bit slower and in fourth gear as well. It's probably not so bad in the morning, like this morning it was 33 degrees and I was pushing along at 92, easy, no problems with temperatures. Ah, digress, back to the Strasnicki track. Um, We'd we'll probably go back to Inaminka, I reckon, but in cooler months. Go up a bit further to the Congee Lakes, I think it's called. I think we can get in there. And there's some other national parks and uh, points of interest around there that we'd probably be interested in getting back to. But um, as for doing walks, you know, this sort of temperature, well, it's just silly, I think. Uh, 42.5. I've had the door open to the cabby for a while now, so it's probably picking up ambient temperature. We're just coming from two and a half to four point seven, so I probably need to drop the door down. Though the boss has been in and out of it a couple of times as well. Not about to. The total amount of sealed road between Inaminka and the end of the Strezlecki track was 193.49 kilometres. So that wraps up Strezlecki track in five minutes. And that's the end to the prelude of. Sorry about the wind of uh, the summer tour. The rest of the videos are going to drop a little bit later once I've got all the Gammon Ranges and the Flinder Ranges um, content up for you to look at. So, uh, 
if I haven't already said it, Happy New Year and cheers to you, eh?